Hello, uh, my name is Sandy Werner, uh, and I've been in Winmore first visiting my parents, but this is the first year my husband and I have been here as residents. My parents were here for 17 years. It's, uh, I, I like Winmore very much. It's like going to camp for me because I have the clay and nice people around and swimming pools. Uh, I especially like the art. I, I think the art is what I like the best and also the pretty green fields and golf courses to look at, not to play. Uh, originally, uh, I'm from New Jersey, Morristown, New Jersey, and uh, I sculpt in Morristown and I sculpt here in clay. And I, I also sculpt in stone and I, I love the art. I love the art at Winmore. I like that people have access to studios, that they're light and they're open so people can work at, at leisure. I, I don't copy anything. I don't copy a famous work of art. I sometimes have a story in my head or I'm feeling happy or I'm feeling very sad and, and, I, and I put my hands on the clay and I move with the clay. Either I have music in my head or a poem or something like that. And I watch the clay evolve in my hands. And I do it without, first I do it with just as, I just bang on the clay. I have a piece out here of 25 pounds. Sometimes I work with 50 pounds of clay. I take out a lot. I don't work with little pieces of clay usually. I work with clay as though it were stone. And I do, I have some realism in my work. You can usually see faces and shapes and animals and flowers, but sometimes people don't see anything. It, I like people to bring themselves to my art. When they look at it, I like it to be a part of them. So I try not to tell people what I see in my own work. I often do birds, and I like it when they find them, but if they don't, that's okay. I, I do enjoy having people tell me that they like my work. I do like that, but I don't change it unless it's somebody who's really giving a critique, and I can see the, the sense of the critique, and, it makes, and, and, I, and I see that I can improve my work using that particular critique. But I, I think when you're, working, when, you're, when you're working on art, it should be something that is coming from within you and not something that everybody's telling you to do. Uh, when I first began, I remember uh, the, the teacher in, in a sculpture class came over. He was a wonderful teacher and I, yeah, we're, we're still friends and I still work together. But when he put his p hand on the piece and he said, look at it from this angle. This should be this way and that should be that way. And now do you see? And I thought, no, I don't see it all because it isn't my vision. And, and it has to be something that comes from, from within you. You know, uh, I was just remembering what my, my mother said something about remembering a particular baby. Don't forget him. He was so cute, she said. Uh, and he was, uh, you know, uh, he was a child who was uh, destroyed in the Holocaust. And I, uh, and I still remember her saying, don't forget Nujula. And sometimes when I'm working, I think, you know, when I put my hands on the piece, it's a little bit about what she said. I remember. I remember stories sometimes, and I, I sometimes actually try and, and create the story in a piece, and I've, I've done some. Uh, I've written, sometimes I've, I've written a couple of poems, and I've, I've done pieces that coordinate with them, and that's, I like to do that. But I think I grow with my art. Uh, clay is, um, it's, uh, it maybe for some people it's Tai Chi uh, or yoga, but for me, it's the clay. When I put my hands on the clay and I'm working, even before I have the piece, uh, it, it feels wonderful to me. It's relaxing. It's a little bit of meditation. Sometimes I can feel music and sometimes not, but I usually move around the clay. I don't always know what's going to happen. I don't always feel uh, that I'm completely successful, but I come back to it and I can repair it. I can remove a head. I can put the head, you know, I can put it back on. I can see something happen to the clay and I can solve a problem with it. I, I'm not stuck any place. It's mine. I often go with the flow. Sometimes I have something in mind and it changes. 
while I'm working. It doesn't stay the same. It's not stagnant. And I let it go. I, I don't have to do it a particular way. I'm not, I'm not stuck in the mold, which is something that I really like about the clay. Uh, if it doesn't look like what I plan for it to look like, so be it. You know, if it's not working out to be what I thought it was going to be, it's something else, and that's okay. Sometimes it's better. Uh, if it falls on the floor, I can pick it up and fix it. Usually you can fix things. If I'm sad about something, it has a different look, I think. But, uh, well, I work with the stone and I work with the clay, two different mediums. Uh, the stone is, is, it doesn't move the same way for me, but then I'm not as experienced with the stone. I'm starting to polish my first piece so that the stone will be beautiful just because it's stone. But my stone seems to look a little bit like my clay pieces, but the clay moves for me better because I have a lot of experience, I think, and because I love working with it. And there are different types of clay. Some clay is soft and dark, and, and uh, when you put your hands in it and you move it, it just, it, it moves, it elongates. It has um, motion, almost like a dance. I, I don't find that that's exactly true of stone, although I'm liking it more and more as I work with it. I don't think I began working with clay knowing what it was going to do. I've just learned over time to, you know, to deal with it and to handle the clay. I express myself when I do it. It it's just seems to be what I do. Some people play cards and mahjong and tennis. and I, I like to read. I like to do some writing. And I love to work with clay. That's just what I... I just love to do that. I like to express myself. It's very, very, it's a very, uh, uh, it's the creative part of me that I've discovered. And I keep discovering things when I work with the clay. Working with clay makes me feel very good. I work with clay almost every day at Winmore. I'm able to work here every day, and I love doing it that way. It gives me an outlet to express myself. It makes me feel happy. It makes me, I don't know, it makes me, it, it, it allows me to, to create um, an atmosphere, you know, to appreciate the world around me, uh, to love the world around me, or to tell a story, or to criticize the world around me as I see it. It just gives me a medium to express myself. I do enjoy it. This I, I used from, you know, I, I don't usually create a piece that looks like more like pottery than clay, but this piece I did, I flattened it and I made it circular. And then I worked from within. I use a lot of openings and I use floral patterns, but I step away from the pieces and it has to look like it moves and goes together. I've been told that, and I see it, that the pieces have movement. And that's, that's great. Even if that's all I do, that's wonderful. This piece isn't fired yet. It, it will go into a kill. It'll get fired, and then I'll see how I want to finish it. This is a, a raku clay, so it can be finished with a, you know, with raku finishing that I might do when I get up north, because I know someone who does it. This piece is also done with raku clay, but I became a little bit more um, detailed when I was working with it. It's only, it's only one um, block of clay, but I remove a lot of clay. I work with clay the way I work with stone. I do a little bit of piecework, but not too much. I do it with tools and my hands first, and, and I, I work for a very long while. I don't cut the clay and hollow it, I work from within the piece, so the inside of the piece should be quite, um, uh, it should have some, some movement and, and, and um, it should look finished, it shouldn't look too rough. And I like the piece, it's, I'll see how it works. I, I was going to do a raku firing, but I think I'll mend the, bre the breaks in this piece and then I will uh, use an oil paint and waxes to do what is called a patina which is the finish. 
this is stone. Stone is a little newer to me. I started working at Winmore last year, and then I took the stone home and worked at home, and then I brought it back here, and it's almost finished. It has to be polished. That The polishing is, is a little newer for me. I, I left the stones rough, but when you polish it, it brings out the sheen and the color, and I'm wetting it so that you can see what the color will be when it's complete. And it should work beautifully as it moves around. Nothing should look like it doesn't belong. It, it, someone said, I, you know, I, I would love to come in and start working with you when you start because I just don't know where to begin. A lot of people have an idea or they have a picture of something and it could be an artist's uh, a picture of an artist's famous work. You know, you could be, have someone who wants to do the Pieta. Well, go ahead and try. But I don't do that. Obviously, I can't do that, and I don't even try. So I just, uh, I think I'm going to invite some people in and play some music and see what happens and see if they can uh, identify with the clay and work on it and have fun with it. And that kind of teaching I'll, I'll try to do. That, that I like to share. I think people in art share. I really enjoy people who work in art because they're interesting, usually. <laughs> I do this because it, the clay becomes a little softer, it has a little form, it may give me an idea. So I do this. It probably isn't bad for the clay because it gets the bubbles out, they say, but that's not why I do it. Somebody told me to keep doing this and create a piece, but I usually don't. I usually stop someplace when I'm tired. Now this clay's been sitting for a while, so it's hard. So I would probably just run my hands in it and come up with something on the outside that I like. I'd spray it. I don't think you'll see anything, but you might, because I don't have anything in mind right now. Now when the clay is hard like this, if it's been sitting for a while, you can spray it. I don't like to mush it too much, but
Well, this is, this is the process. This is the very beginning. And eventually I'll see something and then I will continue with, with the process and I'll develop it. And it will take me either, either I'll get the beginning started quickly or not. It doesn't matter, but eventually I will get it going and it will become something and I'll, I'll work on it. But this is the beginning process. And it's, it's, it's fun, it's a little more scary when, when you start at the beginning because you wonder if you're really going to be able to create something again, but more often than not you can. And you can always break it and start again with clay. You know, there are a lot of uh, um, uh, biblical references to clay and, and what was built from, from clay, different uh, creatures who save you know, um, a village but uh, like the golem. I don't know if they saved or didn't save, but clay has a lot of uh, mythology in it, you know. So you try to tell stories with it. This could be a bird eventually. Or not. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. But this is it. <laughs>